my people my people how are you guys how are you doing hell again i miss you not too much i missed you guys so so much it's work oh now work oh work literally took me away from you guys and i'm not complaining because i literally prayed for this work so i cannot be complaining right now <laughs> I cannot be complaining right now. I'm not complaining at all. Oh more, but anyway, um, the past few weeks I've been, I've finally been able to um, devise a means, come up with a means, um, on how to manage both work and my page. I can never forget my page. I knew what it took me to build it. Ah, if I start sharing the things I've gone through <laughs> with this page, <laughs> one day I'm going to share it. So I can't forget the, all the sacrifices and everything about it. Though true, yeah. So I can't forget the page at all, and I love what I do here. So I can't just leave it like that. It's not possible. Impossible. <laughs> so help me God, we are back and better. So guys, have you been doing great? I am sure. Just in case you're new, my name is Esther, and you're welcome to Purest of Entertainment Reality Show Review on one of you. Please do subscribe. Welcome to family once again. We love you. Now moving on to the juice, the cocoa of the matter. First on the list is Bella. Bella and Shezu. Bella and Shezu. Hey! Uh, Sheila Shippers. That's of course. Can I can you imagine? I'm beginning to forget names of the fan bases and ships and everything. Can you imagine? Hey, work has t- has taken over my head completely. <laughs> okay. Shella Shippers, you guys have been eating big, eating good, back to back. Ah, ah, your children just they feed you. Ah, ah, they just they feed you. They don't even care anymore. Okay, I've said that before. I've been saying it in my previous videos. But now, they literally do not care. From traveling to London together, now they started a YouTube channel. Wow. Comfortably discussing their life, discussing their situation discussing their relationship their love like wow this one is big hmm however uh, from the last um, YouTube video they dropped a um, lot of um, complaints a lot of you know people now uh, they must talk as usual now people are like eh so Bella can actually turn out to be this at the end of the day wow madam soft life Madam Soft Life have become house girl. <laughs> ah, people can have bad mouth. Oh. Okay, you know, pick checks over how much I've forgotten the money, the amount of the money, hundred million dollars, right? Hundred million naira. That she's going to pick checks over the money, and people are like, eh. So this girl is still carrying man on her head to the extent that she's not even washing clothes. Um, doing the house uh, chores and everything, Madame Soft Life have become house girl. See how she blah 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 blah. Hey guys, we're gonna calm down. Calm down. Hey, let these people. For me, I keep saying, let these people live their life. Let them live their life. You're in your house, yeah, wherever you are, and you're doing your thing. Nobody's telling you. Maybe except for your family members, telling you, okay, do this, do that. Now you coming to want to decide for strangers you met how many months ago? It sounds really absurd, ridiculous, if I may say, very very ridiculous that you watch them for some months, some weeks. Doesn't make you um, have say over them. Uh, you might have your reservation. You might be thinking, oh, this relationship will not last. Leave them alone. For me, that's my own. Leave them alone. That's my take, really. Brother has not turned to house girl. Is it your house girl? Is it your house girl? Besides, I do not believe in that. I just feel they are in love and they are doing their thing. There are so many things that Shakes have also done for her that we don't see. And all that. So, all these things, eh? Well, necessary. It's not necessary at all. Just let these people be. And if, even if, eh, the relationship is so crash, she'll come and cry later. she come and do this thing. All these girls, all these baby and girls, they don't even used to be smart. They are not white. They're not this. Leave them alone. If you crash, eh, no, wahala now. Did anybody die? Life goes on. Life goes on. So for me, I, all this drama, eh, no jig. No jig at all. Just leave them alone. 
stop all this unnecessary. You now calling her house girl because she's doing video and then traveled to London and then trying to work to check the washing machine. I don't know you guys eh? I don't know for you guys. Anyway, moving on to Blue Eva. Like guys, Blue Eva is just reaping her reward right now. What do I mean? This girl literally tried to be friends with everybody in the house, especially the Nigerian housemate, and she's reaping it right now. And I think her pair with Kanaga um, actually helped her a lot. And besides, she also tried to blend with Nigerian housemate during the show, and she's reaping the reward right now. Yeah, she's reaping the reward. Imagine the gifts she got from from uh, her fans. Imagine the gift fans in Nigeria here, yeah, not South Africa. Eiffel 14 and the likes. She's she's been invited to event. She's having a nice time meeting people, meeting Nigerian celebrities. And I'm like, wow, this is nice. She's reaping the reward of associating with um, the housemates, the Nigerian housemates when they were staying in the house. And I'm like, wow, this is nice to be friends with people, to build um, solid foundation, solid friendship rather with people. But come on, what are we saying now? That is why we keep saying that there is life after the show. There is life after the show. In as much as you're playing your games, but remember that there is life after the show. So be wise with your games, be smart, be reasonable. Moving on, as usual, guys, according to our name, Fina the Unusual. Fina the Unusual has been receiving. Um, back to back oh, but this particular one eh, she has been received back to back but this particular one guys hey he shocked me oh he surprised me let me not lie to you guys really really surprised me like how do you go from praising someone today to exposing and washing your dirty linen uh, washing your necessary things in the public Venus bestie or should i call it a former bestie because right now i don't even know <laughs> where i should put her she was also happy at some point so it's how she has um been using different means and opportunity to throw some tantrums posting shady stuff and even going as far as um under blocks to post um um to post and drop negative comments about a former bestie fina guys let me know like again this particular one has left me totally confused like totally confused from and i've been asking from where to where how did we get here how and yeah guys i would never understand the idea of you waiting um till it looks like something is seemingly not going right with a person before you come and say hey this is my opportunity this is my opportunity to add fuel. let me come and add fuel. i will never understand then you, you two will now come out and start attacking and adding yours. Come on. Is that not witchcraft? I mean, only people in that category behave like that. What do you think? So, guys, for some days now, back to back, back to back, no rest for how from commenting on the blogs to writing episodes two on our page to videos. And now, guys, the latest is that Fina's sisters are now fully involved and calling her out yes guys i don't have uh, i don't want to read this thing out so you can pause and read yeah someone even called her out for stealing week another one called her for stealing finance money another one said um, Fina went to bring her from Kana to come and be staying in, in on the island rather to come and be staying on the island now she's having mouth to talk about the same thing now was Epta and all that and all that and then Oli herself is firing back at Fina's sisters and everyone that has come out and I'm like wow but then Sha we do not really know the full details of what um really happened between Fina and her bestie for my bestie sorry <laughs> Oli um we really don't know then my take is you can move on without creating unnecessary problem unnecessary drama that's my take that's the issue i have here you can go on without friendship no work again move on habi guys so what do you think only that fina stood her ground for against thousands of her fans that voted for her it was not only that voted for her it was fina's fans finishing that voted for her however fina still stood her ground 
she stood her ground against those who have voted for her to win because those one asked um her to send all the way at the beginning you guys remember now i think i've forgotten I, I did videos back then i remember i did videos back then we were asking her to send her away when she first left the house and i can categorically um say that fina lost some of her big big fans yes i saw it all especially those ones that can spend money on their faves especially those matured big women small disrespect they will leave you now of course um fina's pa was rude to them the fina's pa was rude to them that they even wanted to come give her gifts and everything and the way they were being talked to was so rude they were pain and since then they disappeared so she literally lost a whole lot of fans back then like the complaints were back to back back to back spaces were held twitter spaces were held instagram live tiktok they discussed all the all the all the everything they will post on twitter and uh and uh, tag fina yet she did not yeah fina did not listen to her fans she kept working with her helped her whenever she could even only herself testified to it fina literally went with her everywhere they, they everywhere she went so what is the issue now like how did it get this bad guys eh see here now yeah, see you now. See where um, Oli was praising Fina, saying she has a fine art. Hey, hey, jig. Hey, 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 jig. Look, look at my camera. Look at oh, Jesus. Me get fine, get nice. Get fine hearts, Joy. Should I be a cop? One of those is Thank you very much, Fina. Bless you. I said, God will bless you. Say amen. <laughs> so, how the table suddenly turned? Yeah, again, I said, I don't, we don't really know the full gist of what happened between them, but people have been saying um, the poison interview statement, um, the Tokemakwa poison interview statement, where Fina said someone was cooking for her, was poisoning her gradually. Um, well, Fina did not mention her name. It was only Finations that went as far to say, hey, it's Oli, it's Oli that's cooking and everything and all that. Even Oli said it herself, too, in the video. Yeah, I'll put the video at the end. If you want to watch, you can go ahead and watch. Like, it's just funny, eh? It's just funny. Like, it's just funny. Like, really funny. When friendships or relationship end, I find it weird um, when parties involve start throwing subs and shit. If friendship no work again, she ain't no go move on. It just, it's, it's not making sense anymore. To some people now, it's not even looking as if she was paid to bring Fina down. Because it's been, it's been happening for many days. I've been... Pushing it away, pushing it away. I just said, okay, if I'm going to come back, I'm going to make sure I talk about this particular story. That's why I'm doing it right now. Got my attention more when Fina sisters, Fina, Fina's friends, and I started putting them out. I'm like, okay, we need to do this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Even fans are like, eh, hey, we know her. We know her. We said it before. We want Fina. We told her that this girl is, is so unnecessary. She should get a good uh, management. She should get a good PA. She should not work that friend. And I remember I said it to that. Fina is good, appreciate friends, appreciate everything, but she needs qualified professionals. I remember I said in my videos then, but I understand that. I understand that she doesn't, she appreciate friendship, she appreciate friends, and well, it didn't turn out well, but we all learn every day. So fans, even now, fans are suspecting her that uh, all the things, bad things that have been happening, only must have and it is that they won't be surprised that even the accounts an instagram accounts that got hacked the other time they won't be surprised she hasn't had it she has a hand in it since since she has um the password and everything just to get money from him like wow that's serious well i do not blame the fans at all i mean she has actually become a true in Fina's life that she didn't have not even said anything and you're everywhere and clearly doing everything to get her to respond it's funny you claim you're once her friend but you are the one making videos up and down saying stuff she doesn't even want to change saying she doesn't want to change saying Fina does not want to change so i left that because you are who well hello mother in israel i beg you anyway anyway it is well i just hope that Fina does not respond because that is when the real clout i think she's just chasing clout to share yeah so i just hope Fina does not respond she lets it slide she lets it go and I hope she doesn't address the issue at reunion. Ah, please, she should not at all. That's free publicity. Any publicity right now, people should pay for it. No free food. <laughs> or oh, like fans used to say, no free scholarship. <laughs> yeah, I hope she maintain her calm. She maintain her cool-headed self. The way she has been doing, she has not addressed the issue. 
I hope she remains like that because it is what she says that will be carried. Yeah, that will get more attention. I hope she doesn't. Anyway, the good part is that some of the fans that left, you know, I said some fans left. Some of the fans that left have now started to come back. Who, yeah, since they heard that she and Uli fell out and then the videos, the posts, the shades and everything like okay we said it but it's okay she's good now we are back to the fan base um they even did a twitter space one of those people that left one of the should i use all prominent yeah you can listen to it too okay so guys what do you think about this matter long what do you think we have shared my own take also big congratulations to cheesy ah evil man evil man evil man and business well i'm not surprised that he did something entirely different something you have not really seen a baby niger before if they're not in music they're in fashion and club they're making movies and all that they're doing content creation but but oh God, cheesy sad and said no this is my own part and i must follow it <laughs> I'm proud of him really and I'm so sure that um he would have sat down I mean just like the Bible says we want to build a, um, a house and we know for sit down to calculate the cost so I'm so sure he'll have sat down because people are worried ah, how many people are buying steel cheesy steel enterprise how many people are buying steel ah, this one will buy, will buy don't worry I know cheesy is smart we'll have sat down and know where to sell how to sell his target audience or his target customers <laughs> i'm so sure he has all of that figured out already so congratulations cheesy thank you for being different thank you for doing you okay more wins more sales more business ideas and more money in your pocket man okay guys that's all i have for you in this video please give it a thumbs up see you next video be quick be safe bye